we're talking about the hurricane. And we get this several Florida counties were actually under a tornado watch this morning as Ian is quickly approaching. This storm strengthened to a category four over category four storm overnight. So we want to show you this live look at conditions in Cape Coral right now. Rain coming down near Fort Myers. 2.5 million residents have been asked to evacuate if they still can. The National Hurricane Center predicts up to 12 feet of ocean water could push ashore and it could possibly wash communities away. Just think how tall 12 feet yes. of water on yeah. those streets. Mm. Meanwhile, down in Cuba, no power across the entire island. Hurricane Ian blamed for at least two deaths there since making landfall there late yesterday. Officials hope to begin restoring power today for its 11 million residents. Mm. And it is really a call for all hands on deck as the Red Cross says there's now an urgent need for shelter volunteers as the organization prepares for Hurricane Ian to slam Florida. News Channel 5's Brianna Hamblin is following those efforts for us. And Brianna, how can people help? Well, Ben and Amy, the need is so great for volunteers that the Red Cross is offering fast track shelter training that people can get today. It's only four hours and it's to prepare volunteers to be able to help those impacted by Hurricane Ian and other natural disasters as this storm season continues. The Nashville area chapter will have a training session again starting at 9 a.m. today and another one Saturday, October 1st at 2 p.m. The Tennessee River chapter in Clarksville will have a session as well starting at 5 p.m. today. Everyone is welcome to attend the first hour of the sessions to learn more about all the volunteer opportunities with the American Red Cross. And then people can stay for the rest of the training if they want to become a shelter volunteer specifically. The Tennessee region of the American Red Cross has already sent 28 volunteers to Florida. Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Fiona and Alaska following the destruction from Typhoon Murbach. Hundreds of volunteers from across the country and tens of thousands of relief supplies are heading to Florida as dozens of shelters prepare to open. And if you can't volunteer, you can still help by donating money to the American Red Cross and other organizations that are out there to help, such as the Salvation Army, Project Hope, and World Central Kitchen.